Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do all Zodiac sign readings for August. Keep in mind that these are general readings, like I always say, you know, if they apply, that's awesome, you know, and if they don't, you know what to do with it. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys want, and if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. Um, if you'd like to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos, plus a bonus video, and they're $20 a piece. So, you can learn at your own pace. Give me a shout if you're interested. All that being said, this is a reading for Pisces for August 2018. 2018. Let's see what's shaking with you. Pisces, I think it's very important to keep your guard up. Yes. So, let's find out why. Aw, Pisces. It's you. <laughs> the two fish. This is the holy grail of love, Pisces. The universe giving you an opportunity to see if you take it or not. Now, this could be love for a person. Love for what you do. Pisces, love for yourself. In a brand new way. Aww. I definitely see how this applies here. So, Pisces, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Four of Wands. Now, this is usually known as a marriage card. But this is, you know, bringing something to a higher level. Whether that's a relationship, you know, deepening. I feel like it's stabilizing something. Now, in the right of weight, you would see this little shanty, right? It's the beginning of your castle. And it has to be built, like, the right way, Pisces. And what's crossing to help or hinder, you get the Nine of Pentacles, that I'm good solo, yo. This person has all the material things that he or she desires. So... What this person's looking for is the things that money can't buy. This is somebody who is an entrepreneur, successful. This person's looking for the love, the loyalty, the respect aspect of a friendship, partnership, love ship, any ship. Because they already have the material things that they need. So Pisces. Maybe there is a call here to have more love for yourself. And that solo and being successful stabilizes your situation. And because I am newsy, the card that's under this, Pisces, really? Wheel of Fortune, as karma would have it. This is being, you know, it going in your favor. But being at the bottom of the wheel and all of a sudden you start going up, things start falling into place. Things start making sense. Things start going your way. Can't help but look. The world card. Because you close out something, Pisces, or something needs to be closed out. So you can bring in all these brand new opportunities. Make room for them. All these avenues. All these doors to open for you. And I think it all starts with giving yourself that love that you deserve and need. Because when you have it for yourself, Pisces... You're able to give it. And I think that's what stabilizes your situation here. It makes you more confident. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, in your foundation, Pisces, you have the Queen of Coins. Now, this is usually depicted as a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who is methodical, practical, 
I call her the farmer's wife. She loves plants, outdoors, animals. She's grounded. She's good with her coin. She's easy to talk to. But being grounded here, Pisces, I think is the key here, because it's in your foundation, of being practical and methodical. Seeing something for how it really is, not sugarcoating it. Glorifying it or elaborating, you know, that something... Well, maybe it's not. See it for what it really is. That rings very true with me. Now, your crowning card here, Pisces, is judgment. Hearing the call, rising up from the ashes. A reconciliation? Sure. A second go at something? Could be. But it's making a final decision. You know, like, that's it. My mind's made up. I'm going. I see it now. This is what I want. I'm grounded. And it's making a final decision, Pisces, and then doing it. There's no more contemplation anymore. If it's about being solo and being successful solo, so be it. That'll be for some. If it's about stabilizing something in your life, whether it's a relationship, friendship, partnership, any ship, so be it. The final decision. Because in your recent past, Pisces, you have the Hermit, also known as a Virgo. But this could be isolation, could be seclusion. He is a seeker of knowledge. He is, you know, guided by his intuition. He trusts his intuition. But finding out things for himself, not relying on other people for what is true. He finds out for himself, so he knows it to be true, Pisces. It's about introspection. The true you. Your wants, your desires. So Pisces, maybe before that you've taken in the past to be alone so you can collect yourself. Find out what you really want. To see something really, you know, as it is. And not glorify it. And make a final decision on it. And it's very, very important, Pisces, that you do this. See something for how it really is. And make a final decision on how you're going to proceed or handle it. Because going into your future. Ooh. The devil. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. But the medieval cat tarot that I'm using. Okay? And they're all cats. That's in the cards. Not this guy. He's a fox. Portraying a cat. Wearing a false mask. The devil card could be addictions, illusions. And being the queen of coins, it's seeing truly who this is. It could be a situation that's toxic. And you see it for how it really is, Pisces. You see past the illusion. That the devil loves to give the greatest illusion of all. And it's not for your highest good. The devil doesn't want you to have things. Anything positive. And I think, again, the universe gives this opportunity for yourself. Because when you're empowered with loving yourself... You're not going to let somebody disrespect you. Walk all over you, Pisces. You got more love for yourself than that. To let yourself be treated like that. And taking the powers on of the Queen of Coins, you know, seeing something for how it really is, you will know who this is. Or you will see a situation for what it really is, Pisces. Now, how people see you in your environment. They see you as the Five of Swords. This is a defensive energy. It could be conflict. You know, winning at all costs. But I don't feel this one here. I feel that once you see something for how it really is, you will state, you know, your ground, you will state where you stand and you will send somebody packing. And when people see you like this, they see... Okay, then you're not playing games here. 
Pisces, you mean what you say. And, and when you make a final judgment call on someone or something, you put the hammer down. You're going to back it up. Now, in your environment, Pisces, get the five of pentacles. This is feeling outcasted, shunned, blocked. Sorry. Do the video. But, you know, this is like being ousted. Now, this being in your environment, Pisces, keep in mind, this can go either way. Okay? When I said, you know, people looking at you like you're going to send somebody packing, yeah, someone's going to feel left out in the cold. But Pisces, if this person is blowing smoke and you see it how it really is, you're going to send them packing. With no regrets or remorse. Now, this could either be you, somebody doing this to you, and you feel like you're on the outs because someone is looking at you in a different light. Or Pisces, I feel stronger that this is you seeing something in a different light and being like, ha, I love myself more. And you ain't gonna do what you do, at least not to me. Bye. And in your hopes and fears, Pisces. Get the ace of wands. Second ace here. The universe giving you an opportunity to take a course of action. To move on something, Pisces. Like you like you haven't moved before. It's brand new. Because I think that when you get focused and crystal clear, and you're getting rid of things that, you know, potentially weren't real in the first place, and your eyes are open, and you see something, and you're like, you know what? I don't need anyone but me. I love me. So kick rocks, devil. I'm good solo. And you take that course of action, Pisces. You gotta kick people to the curb. You gotta kick them to the curb. For your highest good. But you gotta make that judgment call, Pisces. Pisces. You gotta do it for yourself. And only for yourself. Not that it benefits anybody else. It benefits you. That's what the universe wants to see. And the universe wants to see you respect and love yourself and not let this go on and be confident about your decisions. Don't waver them. Because your outcome card here, Pisces. You get the four of swords. Now, this is taking a pause, taking a, you know, a step back and taking a breath. Reprioritize, re-strategize, make a plan, Pisces, make a plan B. About what course of action you're going to take and who you're going to send packing. But nevertheless, Pisces, make this plan, okay, to keep the neg th negative things away from you. Because it's going to become crystal clear to you. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.